It's really exciting that we're looking at this 100th anniversary as a, as a milestone. At the same time as we look backward and celebrate, I think we also need to look forward to the next generation of how are we gonna strengthen the case method? Where is it gonna go? And to start thinking, can the case method be useful elsewhere? My first experience with the case method was in the classroom teaching a course called Business, Government, and the International Economy, and that was exciting. We had a few historical cases in that course, and I began to see the power of teaching history by the case method. I spent a couple of years with some great co-authors developing a set of cases on key moments in the history of the global financial system, and that course became Creating the Modern Financial System. I decided I wanted to create another course on the history of American democracy. The idea would be to develop a series of cases on the history of American democracy and then introduce that for undergraduates and MBA students. One thing that surprised me is that a number of the undergraduates ended up recommending the cases and the case method to their former high school teachers. And so before long, several of these teachers got in touch with me. I gave them the cases and my teaching plans and I talked to them about the cases and they taught them in their classrooms. And this worked really well, better than we could have imagined. And so, you know, I went to the dean and I said, could we run a little executive education program for teachers, but for free? And he said, sure, let's give it a try. So we started with 20 teachers and we ran a little program of training, showing them how to use the case method, showing them how to use these cases in particular. And that seemed to go very well. And so from there, we decided to launch a broader pilot. And, you know, next we went from 20 to 200. And now there's a little over a thousand teachers who've been trained in this method, teachers in all 50 states. The students are essentially living the problem. There's a lot of context, there's a lot of background, so they're doing some more traditional history as part of this. But then ultimately we get up to the decision point, and so the, the teacher's asking the students, what would you do? And so many students have said that's the first time in their memory in school that they've ever been asked their opinions. They become engaged, their opinion matters. That has a positive effect on them wanting to learn. I think it's also really empowering for many students. That is being put in the position of a decision maker and having to decide some major problem or issue. They're the academic impacts, and those have been very positive, critical thinking, command of course material, but they're also the civic impacts. Students show a greater interest in civic issues, politics, government. They show a greater interest not only in learning about it, but in engaging with it. At the same time, the teachers report that their own sense of professional growth, their sense of enjoyment in the classroom, their sense of job satisfaction, all increase significantly when they start using these cases in the classroom. So look, it's very similar to the experience I had. When I went into the case method classroom for the first time, I found it exciting personally. I felt more engaged than I ever had as a teacher. And at the same time, I saw the students learning more. This was exciting for me. And I would say teachers and students around the country are having a similar experience.